So finding the area with log rules. Uh, we're going to be, of course, working on integration. Gosh, has my handwriting gotten worse? Sorry. If you watched the last video, you are at a really good place um, right now. If, if this starts not to make sense to you, and like, why is he doing what he's doing, please go back and look at the other video, which was AP Calculus Log Rules of Integration. So I'm just going to just look at this, and what we're being asked to find is we're asked to find the area of x over x squared plus 1 dx from 0 to 3. So, just going to start looking at this, and I think this is a u substitution problem. So, u substitution, I'm going to take this part out, I think. And just to have to say, when I'm looking at this, I'm thinking it's possible that this, what I'm wondering is, is this f of x and is this f prime of x on top of it? Because if it is, this is an ln problem. So, I'm trying to get that worked out in my mind, and I, I think that it probably is. So, let's start looking at it here. So, I'm going to do u substitution. I'm going to take the uh, x squared plus 1. So it's x squared plus 1. I'm going to take the derivative of u with respect to x. And that's obviously the derivative up here. The derivative up here is 2x. So there's 2x. If you don't mind now, what I, just keep in mind what, what I want here is, what I want is a replacement piece. I'm going to do u substitution. So I want a replacement piece. I would like to replace this piece in terms of in terms of u. So I'm going to multiply both sides by dx. So we get du is equal 2x dx. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 2x, 2x. And we get that du over 2x is equal to dx. So we have this piece of substitution right here. We have this piece of substitution right here, and we're going to go ahead and do our substitution now. So where I found dx, I'm going to put in du over 2x, and where we found x squared plus 1, I'm going to put in u. So as we rebuild this, so now we're going to, actually let me write this out, I'm going to substitute, my, what kind of my handwriting got better? We're going to substitute uh, u for x squared plus 1, my handwriting's got worse, and du over 2 for dx. So let's see what that would look like. That would look like this. <laughs> 0 to 3, right? We still have x up here. We have x squared plus 1, which is equal to u. So here's our u. So there's our u. And we also are going to replace our dx with du over 2x du over 2, look, I hope you see this 2x, can you see what's going to happen here? Because initially I was really worried, because I looked at this, I was like, oh, this is not too cool at all, because I have a variable x, a variable u, and d, dx, or I'm sorry, du, so it looked kind of scrambled, but look what's going to happen. These are factors, so what's going to happen with this and this, they're going to cross out, to, right, they're going to go to 1. So they cancel out. When I say cancel, they go to 1, right? And then, if you don't mind, I'm just going to try to do this more quickly. So this is how I'm visualizing this. See this 1? If you can see, can you see this 1 half now? 1 half. So I'm just going to rewrite this. And I'm going to pull this 1 half out. 1 half. Sorry, one, one, there's that 1 half. 1 half times. And now we'll have... 1 over u du. This du is this one. This 1 is because these cancel and went to 1. This 1 half right here, if you're wondering where that is, it's right here. And this u is this one, isn't it? Okay, so hopefully now we're recognizing this. We're recognizing this. Look, if you put this back over it, you know what, let me do that really quickly so you can see what I'm doing here. I'm recognizing this. This says this is a function. It says this is the derivative. So I have a, a derivative over its function. By definition, that's ln, isn't it? So I'm going to go back here like this. And now I'm going to integrate this, right? If this is throwing you off, why I'm doing this, I'm not <laughs> trying to be clever. This is the wrong video for you. So go back and figure out why this is why this is true. And go back to your rules of integration. And there in the last video I did, so if you want to Look at that, but now I'm going to start to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and integrate here. 
So I'm going to integrate. So when I integrate, I'm going to here's this one half is this one half, and this is ln. So ln of of u. Well, u is x squared plus one. So yeah, of x squared plus one, isn't it? And then look, because this is a definite integral as evaluated from 0 to 3. I can hear you guys uh, now, so I'm getting ready to say, what are we going to do? And I hear you all saying, fundamental theorem of calculus. So yeah, FTC, fundamental theorem of calculus, says that f of b minus f of a will give us the area that we're looking for. So b is, right, let's take a look at this for a second. b is this 3. And 0 is a. So that's what I'm going to do here. Right, OK, so here we are. So I'm going to actually do that math. So 1 half ln of, right, 3. So it's 3 squared is 9, plus 1 is 10. Wow, that's terrible looking. So I'll do it again. 1 half ln of x squared plus 1, but x is 3, so 3 squared is 9, plus 1 is 10. Plus, I guess this is which one, the 10? Plus, whoops, sorry, 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 it's fundamental theorem of Scott, so this is minus, isn't it? Minus 1 half ln of 1. But what is ln of 1? And remember, as we're doing ln, it's log base e of 1. Well, e raised to what power is 1? That's the question we're answering, right? e to some power equals 1. Well, e to what power? Remember, e is a number, 2.7, blah, blah, blah. Well, this number raised to what power is 1? It's 0, isn't it? So ln 1 half of 0 is 0. So we really have 1 half ln of 10 minus 0 equals our area, and that is our answer. Yes, I get it. ln of 10 it has a numerical value. I don't know what it is. I think the uh, whole thing in, ends up being 1.5 and change. This is calculator math. This is not uh, calculus, frankly. So, okay. Hope that was good for you.